What's going on guys, Mega Gig back with another video. We are revisiting the Charge Barb once again. And if you watched my other Charge Barb builds, um, of course we are on the PTR, 2.6.1 is the patch number. Uh, if you watch my other videos on the Charge Barb build, you will uh, recognize my complaining in every video about uh, the toughness um, of this build and how it's generally a lot of fun, uh, especially the, the more speed-oriented version, but it really lacks toughness. And I've been racking my brain trying to figure out what I can do to kind of change that, to mitigate that, to turn this into a viable build if there is a way. And I've kind of found something uh, that so far seems to work pretty, pretty good. Uh, I will say, uh, you saw in the uh, the Seismic Slam Charge Bar build, I did an 85 with 6 or 7 minutes left. Um, this build did an 85 in pretty much the same amount of time, and I was able to complete a not good rift 90 with right at about a minute to spare. And the rift was not good at all, and the, the, uh, the elites weren't good. So that's what we're going to do in this video. I'm going to show you the build. And, uh, and then we're going to run a Greater Griff 90. You guys can kind of give me your opinion on it. I'm going to show you what we've changed. Um, the reason I, I think this the overall charge bar build won't really get too many buffs to toughness or whatever is because it's, it's mixing two different uh, sets. And I don't know if Blizzard really... You know, people I think just got creative with that set. I don't think Blizzard really intended... Uh, the charge bar build to use those two sets together even though it does work nicely. So uh, in this video we are going to be using the six full pieces of Raycor set. So the two piece furious charge refunds the charge if it hits only one enemy. Uh, four piece furious charge gains the effect of every rune and deals 500% damage. Six piece every use of furious charge increases the damage of your next spinning attack by 1500% this, this effect stacks and you can use up to five stacks at a time. What are we losing? I guess we can just look here at my uh, weapon. We're losing the two piece bonus here, call the ancients last until they die and the four piece bonus. Reduce the cooldown on Wrath Berserker and call the ancients by three seconds for every 10 fury you spend. So the main thing we're losing here is uh, the Call of the Ancients. We're not going to have active, so we won't have the together as one um, rune on them to mitigate damage. And we're also losing our cooldown on Wrath of the Berserker every time we use Fury. However, uh, we are gaining a few things. Um, now I've thrown in Ignore Pain. And uh, I've got Ignorance is Bliss on here. I'm actually going to go back to Ironhide um, just because I want it to last longer. And uh, so we've swapped back out to our Pride of Cassius. And uh, then, of course, like I said, we've got the entire six-piece bonus. We've swapped out our Life Gem for a Reduced Cooldown Gem. We're at 1.1 million health. And we've swapped our Immortal King's uh, Boulder Breaker for the new Fury of the Vanished Peak. So this can roll up to 500%. Unfortunately, mine's only at 444, but um, it is still a nice, nice buff. Now, since we're running this here, what are we running in the cube? We are back to the good old furnace in the cube. There's not a lot uh, else you can put in this place that's really good. If you had a really good furnace, then you would cube Fury of the Vanished Peak and run the furnace equipped. Uh, we are also using Ancient Parth and Defenders here because we've got our new Braces of Destruction here that roll a pretty good roll. They can roll up to 500% and I've got 495. And they also have reduced damage from ranged attacks here, which is super, super nice. Now, because we are running the six pieces of this, we no longer need to run Ring of Royal Grandeur. So now we're uh, running Band of Might after casting Furious Charge, Ground Stomp, or Leap. Take 60% reduced damage for eight seconds. Uh, you could, in theory, run a Unity if you wanted, but that's a 50% damage um, reducer. 
all the time where this is 60% for eight seconds after charge and we're going to be charging all the time so this is still going to be always up so this is a little bit more uh, of a damage reducer uh, so as for the skills let's go over the skill changes uh, we mentioned ignore pain uh, we're still using seismic slam still using wrath of the berserker we do have uh, the boon of bulkathos passive i swapped out my other amulet um, had the uh, superstition passive on it which is right here uh, you could in theory do that too but it's just going to make your wrath of the berserker last longer remember we don't have that cooldown reduction spending fury anymore from the immortal kings so it would be nice to take 30 seconds off of this with the uh, the boonable cathos passive you can see right there uh, we're also using war cry impunity we're using battle rage bloodshed and we're using furious charge merciless assault uh, this is still a physical build uh, I've got physical damage there and there uh, some of these items haven't been re-rolled uh, correctly um, because uh, yeah I'm well that one might be I don't know but we're not gonna worry about that right now uh, I put seismic slam damage on here you could in theory go with um, area damage uh, or even, I don't know, life on hit, maybe, probably not that. But uh, now you will notice my Fury Pool is only at 170. That's because this has a maximum of 24 Fury buff on it. I did have the option to put that on here and um, re get rid of the, uh, the knockback hit chance, but I opted for just boosting Seismic Slam damage overall by 15%. Um, I don't know if that was really the right move or not, but it had a useless um, rend buff on there, and so that wasn't going to help either. Uh, opting for the more fury probably would have resulted in more damage. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but this is a flat damage boost on its own after all the others. So, I don't know. We'll see. But that is the build change, guys. Uh, our passives, we're still running the tanky passives. Uh, Rampage, Relentless animosity and nerves of steel and relentless comes in uh, super handy and we still have life per fury spent 2500 so that doubles to 5000 whenever um, whenever we are below 35 percent health still running the same gems bane of the trapped uh, esoteric and uh, bane of the stricken so I, I ran a 90 like I said it was a bad rift and I still finished with a minute left and to put that in perspective, my Whirlwind build on here, I did a 95 with about 10 seconds left. Um, but that build is almost fully augmented. The gear is um, honed pretty well. It's not perfect, but it's pretty well. None of this gear is augmented. It's not all ancient. Uh, of course, there actually are a lot of ancient pieces, but it is missing a few ancients and uh, I was able to do a couple of rifts lower so um, and I'll, I'll be trying to push with this later on but right now we're gonna do a 90 uh, as long as I don't get disconnected darn I ran out of keys we aren't gonna do a 90 alright I'm gonna cut this video off real quick I'm gonna get a key or two and then I will be right back stay tuned ah the PTR plagued by connection issues we got back in uh, I just grabbed some keys from my Necromancer. Sometimes you get kicked out of the game. Sometimes when you get out of a character, you can't get back in the game. <laughs> so here we are. Um, uh, now the, the thing about this build, you know, we talked about the cooldown reduction real quick. I want to mention this. So your Wrath of the Berserker is going to be on cooldown reduction or cool down for some time kind of bringing in it doesn't really differ from too many other builds uh, in that respect from other classes where you have a big cooldown you kind of have to wait for uh, especially you know compared to like the Tragul's build uh, for the Necromancer that's all you're doing is waiting on cooldowns and Seismic Slam with uh, the new Braces of Destruction and Fury of the Vanished Peak is still doing a ton of damage even not in Wrath of the Berserker so you're going to be saving Wrath of the Berserker and um, to kind of a further extent ignore pain for elite packs uh, one thing I will say about elite packs is fire chains man fire chains 
they do not like this build at all so try and stay away from fire chains if you can and we're gonna go ahead and pop our Wrath of the Berserker and try and hammer on this guy and we're going to start losing stacks if we don't have enough to reset our stacks. Desecrator's not too bad. Um, beams uh, are, are pretty bad, but to me, fire chains are the worst on this build. I don't know why. They just, besides the fact that they do tons of damage, I don't know why. <laughs> now, you are going to be able to be CC'd a little bit when you're not. Uh, in Wrath of Berserker or have Ignore Pain up. But you can see, even when we're not in Wrath of Berserker or an Oculus Ring, we can still do lots of damage. And our toughness without either of those uh, is higher than it was before. Not insanely higher, but higher than it was before. But when we have uh, Ignore Pain and then Wrath of Berserker, it really, really shoots up. And like I said, we still do a ton of damage, so you can kind of group enemies up here and then blow them up like that. And a speed shrine, all right. Still don't really want to get hit by all kinds of uh, crowd control frozen things, especially the frozen things because they still do a lot of damage. Would you come here? Stop running away from me. I'm lucky I'm so far able to keep my stacks up. It's not going to stay that way. Yeah, exactly. As soon as he keeps teleporting away and bringing the little spider guy. And now there's only two and I can't <laughs> I can't keep my stacks up. My stacks, my stacks. When you only hit two enemies, you can't keep your stack cooldown up on your uh, wrath or on your um furious charge. Build's still super, super great at clearing trash, so if you get a decent pack, go at it. Alright, like this. Let's get these guys in here. Not going to hit our ignore pain just yet because we're doing okay. If we start taking lots of damage, we will. And yeah, there we go. We got saved by our passive, so <laughs> I guess it's time to hit it. but that means we might have to get out when it goes down that's alright we've got some other enemies to fight here while we're waiting for it to come back up now just because this is a tougher version of the build for one it is still kind of a work in progress um, I do want to know what you guys think. Uh, and on the other hand, you're still going to have the opportunity to die, like many builds. Yeah, you're not immune by any means. Alright, I went the right way. And there's a shrine here. Perfect. Perfect. If you can do all your stuff while in an Oculus Ring, that does pump out a considerable amount more damage because that's another 80-something percent multiplier on, uh, on all the rest of your stuff. And actually, we didn't go the right way because that's just bringing us right around here. But we do have lots of density, so and we did run into an Elite Pack and a Shield Shrine, so it kind of worked out. 
and as long as there's a few enemies to hit we can just charge around whoa lagged and stuck on the wall try not to stand in the middle of all that yeah that's not really enough to be worth our time this is especially since she just bunched them up for us and we just got saved those big clobbering guys can do a lot of damage and we've got two elite packs here so I went ahead and popped all of my stuff we are still taking some considerable damage but we knocked out that blue elite pack pretty fast at least most of them sorry I had to pause for just a second I thought someone was here but they were not alas oh don't get hit by that and now we've got two here which is gonna kinda suck Ugh. can't keep our furious charges up like I was saying before when you only have two let's see if we can get some of these at least get some stacks going There we go. Alright, some decent floors. And two elite packs. Nice. You know they are yellows. Now remember, um, your seismic slam is directional. So try and line up. Sometimes when you're trying to do this really fast, uh, you don't get your seismic slam lined up to hit everything you want right off the bat. Whoa, and we just got kicked away. I'm not sure which one's the real one. Uh-oh. Those uh, spinny ice things, I don't know what they're called, uh, they still hurt a lot, too. They're not as bad as fire chains, but they're up there. You definitely don't want to stand in them for too long when your ignore pain isn't up. Alright, good oculus ring placement. If you've almost got the elite pack down and it's not a super terrible elite pack, don't uh, don't recast your Wrath of the Berserker. Yeah, once you actually get a decent rift, it's uh, no wonder you can actually do some decent stuff. And I don't think this build suffers from... Uh, I don't think you would have to do a lot of rift fishing like the other build. Um, like I said, fire chains are pretty horrible, but uh, overall I think this build can just kind of do whatever. Hopefully we can get this guy down. Oh, nice! Now you do have to still be very careful. The Rift Guardian can still one-shot you, uh, or at least he can one-shot me if I don't have Ignore Pain up. Yeah, there, I just got saved. I was trying to get Ignore Pain up. Whoa! Yeah, and still died. Let's get a little more defense there. <laughs> Ouch. And saved again.
Aw, oh, come on. This is a horrible Rift Guardian. And I'm not having much luck keeping him stunned. There we go. Now we'll see if we can't burn him down. So not too bad. Some Rift Guardians are worse than others. Uh, but there we just did a, a 90 in 4 seconds, or 4 minutes. Uh, it's a pretty good Rift. Um, yeah, the, like I said, you, you're not immune to damage. You can still take, take damage. Um, you could possibly switch out uh, the Boonable Cathos passive for the Superstition passive uh, again to get more damage uh, or more damage reduction, especially from the Rift Guardian. Um, if you wanted, you could also take Inspiring Presence with this build because we do have a War Cry shout. Uh, I don't think Inspiring Presence. Oh yeah, Inspiring Presence does work with Battle Rage. Okay, it says right there. Derp. Um, so yeah, you can take this uh, to help regenerate life. Uh, it's kind of up in the air to you, but yeah, that is the overall build guide that I build guys that I've been working on. Let me know what you guys think of this build. Is this something that you could see uh, becoming something kind of useful? Um, because really, you only lose the the Wrath of Berserker cooldown, and like you saw, you still do a lot of damage with it off of cooldown so again a greater rift 90 and uh, this build is not augmented in any way um, it's lacking a few ancient items all the stats aren't rolled super great some of them are good but um, yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments I do have to say the Raycor armor is probably the coolest looking uh, barbarian armor and that giant hammer actually if you could paint it black, or if you do paint it black, would go really nice with this build. It looks super cool. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you liked the video uh, down below in the comments, and you know by clicking the like button. I guess if you dislike the video, you can dislike it and subscribe, guys, if you want to see more. Thanks, guys, for watching, and more good stuff to come. Take care.